Howdy there friends and neighbors, Bobby here today. Uh, we've got a 2000 model Mazda Millennia. Um, problem with this car was a rough idle and a check engine light code PO300 which is your random misfire code. Um, only code in the computer. Um, and actually what it would do, I uh, tried clearing the code and immediately the code would come right back on after it got out of its uh, cold start process and started idling at its normal idle. It would idle rough, it would trigger the code. Um, tell you what I did, first of all, first thing we done was uh, we pulled one of the plugs, took a look at it. Uh, plugs were worn, uh, they, were, they looked like original. Actually this car's only got 60,000 miles on it. Very low mileage for a 2,000 mile. Um, ended up putting a set of plugs in it, did not correct the problem. So after that, uh, got on Mitchell, got on all data, uh, got online, researched some um, different forums and stuff on this problem. Now several of the things that I found uh, for this engine was uh, number one, several things talked about, several forums and stuff talked about vacuum leaks being an issue on, uh, on the Mazdas. I uh, found that not to be the case. I checked it, checked it for vacuum leaks real well. Uh, another thing, um, found a couple bulletins on the fact that carbon does build up underneath the valves and can cause a rough idle. Uh, so I done a carbon blast on it, still didn't take care of the problem. Cleaned the throttle body, cleaned the mass airflow sensor, and then I was just about at my end there, getting about ready to give up on this car. And I um, actually talked to a guy that, um, what had been a Mazda tech for about 15 years. He owns his own shop locally. And um, he told me I need to check camshaft timing. So uh, he told me I could bring it down there and he'd check it. He said he's pretty familiar with the engine. He could pull the cover back in about 20 minutes and uh, let me know if the engine's out of time. So went ahead and done that and sure enough, uh, he said that it looked like it had jumped a couple teeth. So what I did, went ahead and put a um, a uh, timing belt and new, brand new tensioner on this engine and that actually took care of the problem. Uh, let me show you the stuff that come out from behind the uh, harmonic bouncer and in, inside the timing cover. What this is looks like an old power steering belt that at some point in this vehicle's lifetime had come apart and part of it had actually gotten twisted up around the crank pulley and got into the cover and this stuff here probably got in between the the uh, gear and the timing belt and, and caused it to uh, jump a tooth now the reason i'm making this video because i have read a lot of stuff since i had this problem a lot of guys fishing around trying to fix this problem doing all kinds of things you know uh, anything from injectors to cap and rotor buttons to carbon blast to all this that and the other and you need to make sure you check your camshaft timing because the way this thing is designed uh, this cover is kind of open behind the uh, um, uh, crank puller or the harmonic balancer and anything any debris or any old belts that shred up can very easily get in there and cause this problem um, it's not like a Honda or a Toyota so make sure if you're dealing with a uh, PO300 code on a Mazda uh, 2.5 liter make sure you don't rule out camshaft timing this thing was retarded about 15 degrees you know two teeth off is probably 15 degrees car still ran pretty good just had a rough idle so don't uh, until you check that don't rule it out could be your problem I just wanted to share that with everybody and uh, hope this helps you uh, fix your car have a great day and thanks for watching